This video is an update on an experiment that I did recently where I posted over 40 articles in three days. This video is so important to make because there's a lot of noise about being able to post unlimited AI articles and that there are no bad effects. However, and I, by the way, full transparency, I said the same thing. I thought the same thing until I did this experiment. I think it's really important that you experiment with things to make sure. I did this experiment specifically because I was saying that it's fine to do this, but it turns out it's actually not. Now let me show you why that is. All of these hidden blog posts you can see on our Shopify store, they were originally indexed and some of them even got a few impressions and then they were de-indexed. This is something that a lot of people are reporting is happening and that's why I'm making this video. You can see that all of these blog posts here, they, if I went on each one, they were posted on the 3rd, the 4th, or the 5th of April, all of them. And this was actually quite a big mistake on my part. However, I am here to tell you that we can recover from that. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I am doing or what I will do to recover from this. But first of all, let me show you an example. This one right here, Ultimate Guide to Four Season Suit Fabrics, Brands and Suits. I had to disable this. This was actually posted on May the 30th, but it was also de-indexed. So even some of my other articles, all that were in kind of the period where I posted just obviously way too much content, all of them were de-indexed, anything that was even around that one. So this one wasn't even posted necessarily at the same time. It was posted a bit before on May the 30th and Google de-indexed it. However, this post is now indexed and I'm gonna show you exactly what I did to get it indexed. So if you go on the article that you, uh, I know that a lot of people have this problem. So I'm gonna assume if you're watching this video, you have this same problem. So what I want you to do is I want you to get the raw HTML of the article. And we're, we're gonna use the playground. You could also use ChatGPT but we're gonna use the playground in this video because I just, this is what I use to do everything, basically. I've realized that putting the temperature down is a good thing, maximum length, I'm gonna be on 2K, and I'm just gonna put the content into the, um, into the system prompt here. So, yeah, this is the article, and all I did was I said, can you write an FAQ section for this article, and then, also give me FAQ page schema for those FAQ questions. And then you can just submit. And what it'll do is it will automatically pick up on the fact that you're writing in HTML just because of the nature of generative LLMs. This is how they work. It knows what it's doing because the system prompt has HTML. It will just use HTML. So what I did was I did an FAQ section. I'm gonna do one of these every single day or maybe two, I'm probably just gonna to stick to one. I don't wanna risk anything after getting burnt the first time. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna be adding sections, adding content to each article, and then just resubmitting it. The good thing about Shopify, I don't know about WordPress, et cetera, et cetera. So you might have to change how you do this on WordPress, but at least with Shopify, if you put hidden, it actually depublishes the post. So if you just click hidden and then save, and then visible and then save, the release date will actually be today. So what I did was I also changed the SEO. I shortened the meta title massively, um, mainly to change it, but also because I'm experimenting with using short and snappy meta titles, just because a lot of people commented on one of my last videos saying that everybody says to use short meta titles and I'm a big believer in experimentation. And I changed the meta description and I actually also changed the URL. So the URL was originally a lot longer. I just uh, deleted a load of the content. But if you, if you change the URL on Shopify, it says create a URL redirect. So this is perfect because this is like it's a whole new article. Okay, and this, that's all I did. Everything I just showed you right now is everything I changed. If you press view now and scroll down, you'll see that there is the FAQ section from when I did it at work. This one is still writing, obviously. And then if I go on Search Console and I put the URL to inspect the URL, we will see that it is indexed, okay? So this is super, super good for me because I now have 18 
actually up to 30 or 40 blog posts that already have all the keyword research. It's just they weren't getting traffic for two men. But now, because of this very small change, very small, quick, and kind of intelligent change, this will help the website massively. So hopefully, Google will forgive me for my transgressions, <laughs> I'm hoping, and I can recover from some of the SEO mistakes that I made, mainly posting too much content in a short period of time. I want to make this... I wanted to make this video to make it clear that I am now against that. Probably the only way to do that is to release a website already with a lot of content. But again, I haven't actually done that myself, so I don't know for sure, but I can see that that would be acceptable. Now, these pages may have become re-indexed at some point. However, I strongly suspect that they were tagged or flagged with AI content. And Google does care about spammy AI content and no real journalist or writer or blogger can write that amount of content in two or three days. Probably what they do is they look at the MAC address or the IP address or whatever that they were written from. They look at the author name. And if all of that is the same, you are probably going to get punished. So you probably can be smart about using VPNs, about using different authors, etc., etc. But from today onwards, I'm no longer going to be recommending that you post more than three GPT-4 blog posts per day. How is two men doing overall? I mean, on the three months, it looks really, really bad. However, I want to teach people perspective. Okay. I do talk about this quite a lot. Perspective is very, very important. This website is, it was registered, I think in November, 2022, it was released probably December 14th or something is probably, I think when it was released, I'm not actually sure about that. So if we put it on the last 12 months. It looks a lot better, but obviously still I am kind of disappointed with what's, what's happening with two men. Uh, it's mainly posting too much content, but also around this kind of date, I did do something very stupid, which was buying Fiverr backlinks. I bought them in a way that I knew that other people would buy them. So they just go on Fiverr and they point it directly to their money site. I know, I knew before I did it that it was stupid and I know that that is stupid, but I wanted to do it to show people what not to do, but it seems to have a pretty, seems to have had, seems to have had had, I hate English, a negative result on the website for sure. However, I am confident that we can get back to flying with 250 clicks every single day, but we're, we're stabilizing. It's about 150 clicks, 140 clicks, 130 clicks per day at the moment, which again, not ideal, but that's, that's the nature of SEO. Sometimes you make mistakes and sometimes you get punished for it by Google. We'll see where we are again in another three months. Also, I, another thing that I would like to point out is probably like around here, I was told that I have to work on both websites. So I work for two websites. And I put a lot. So basically what I did was when I was told that I need to work on both websites, I wrote all of this content because I thought it would just keep going up. Okay. But it got de-indexed. It hurt the website and I didn't write any new content. I'm now writing two articles for this website and two articles for our main website every day. We'll see where we are very, very soon. The next video that I'm going to make is going to be about iSuit and I'm going to be showing the progress, but I will tell you right now, we are absolutely flying on iSuit with like an average of maybe like 900 clicks a day or something like that. So it'll be really, really exciting to see what happens with iSuit now that I'm releasing GPT-4 content on iSuit as well. Thank you so much for watching and yeah, I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.